Hydrogen peroxide is one of the most important chemicals in the world, with wide applications across both industry and everyday life, including paper and pulp manufacturing, chemical synthesis, and wastewater treatment, among many other uses. Hydrogen peroxide is currently manufactured in centralized large-scale chemical plants through an anthraquinone cycling process that consumes fossil fuels, emits carbon dioxide, and produces many organic wastes. Currently, researchers are trying to produce this important chemical compound in a green and delocalized manner, with the input of just sunlight, air, and water. To do this, Solar energy is converted into electricity, which drives an electrochemical reaction that converts oxygen and water into hydrogen peroxide with the help of suitable catalysts. In a typical electrochemical reactor, on the surface of one electrode, oxygen is reduced to HO2 minus ions, and on the surface of the other electrode, water is oxidized to oxygen, which releases protons to form the compound. Unfortunately, the hydrogen peroxide generated using liquid electrolyte is mixed with other ions, so it cannot be directly used in many on-site applications. Now, the CAT group at Rice University has successfully addressed this challenge by developing an electrolyzer that uses a solid electrolyte to continuously produce hydrogen peroxide solution without involving any impurities. This porous solid electrolyte layer can efficiently transport ions, just as the liquid electrolyte does, but does not dissolve in water so as not to introduce any ionic impurities into the generated products. Using this solid electrolyte design, the CAT group demonstrated the production of hydrogen peroxide solutions with high concentrations of up to 20% hydrogen peroxide by weight. To demonstrate a potential application in water treatment, the group directly mixed the pure hydrogen peroxide solution produced from their electrolyzer with collected rainwater. The organic contaminants in rainwater were successfully reduced to below the requirements for drinking water standards, leading towards a potential solution to help people anywhere in the world who do not have access to clean drinking water. This technology could change the game and pave the way for advancements in green, sustainable, and delocalized chemical synthesis.